Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to episode two, part B of the Me Come for Horror Show. For those of you who are concerned about last week's ending, everything's just fine. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. I'm happy to report after taking two polygraph tests, I'm no longer a person of interest. If you don't know what I'm speaking about, please feel free to hit the pause button, watch the final moments of last week's show, and come on back. We're very interactive. Speaking of which, some of you wanted to know exactly what the hell kind of a horror show is this? You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. Is it a learning show? Is it entertainment? Actually, it's both. All great theater, whether it be movies, plays, poetry, commercials, or even stupid knock-knock jokes. Knock, knock. And you had to look that up? One thing in common, dynamic structure. How many of you have tried to watch a movie which suddenly sputters and stalls? Or even worse, falls flat on its face? Infuriating, isn't it? How the hell do the studios allow that to happen? We'll be answering that question and a whole bunch more in future episodes. After a brief introduction, each new show will have three distinctive parts. Part number one, name that movie. Be forewarned, I'll be editing out most of the famous actors who might give it away so it won't be easy. Those of you who do manage to figure it out will be entered into the Me Gun for Horror Show Sweepstakes Marathon, becoming eligible for all sorts of prizes and goodies, including a special guest appearance on this very show. So hit the subscribe button and join the Me Gun for Horror Show family of friends. Part number two, Behind the Dark Curtain. A brief but fascinating discussion about the mystery movie, shot filled with trivia and creative insights, including writing and story tips for those of you who are interested in filmmaking. And now for my favorite. The Great Big Mailbag from Hell. This is when I get to read and answer your questions, suggestions, or opinions about the show. I really want to hear from you, so I can improve the show. This is also the time I'll be doing shout-outs to my friends and supporters who have inspired me to follow my dreams and do this show. Thank you. These are tumultuous times. what we call a global killer, the end of mankind. That storm is just gonna get worse. It's coming! So look for the good in each other, and try to remember, truth is the light by which to find yourself out of the darkness. Switch it on! And now it's time for it to name that movie. Are you ready? I can't hear you. I said, are you ready? <laughs> Much better, okay then. This is a tough one, so good luck. You're gonna need it. Mr. Projectionist, roll the clip. Hey there, this is you-know-who, trapped in the basement dungeon 
of me, Gunther's secret hideaway lair. Will somebody please call the FBI and get me the hell out of here? Oh, shit. That's him. Two, three. getting boring so I fixed it. You fixed it? You made me look like an idiot. You need help. Change your medication. You change your medication. I'm not on any. What? Since when? Since Dr. Polk died. Who the hell is Dr. Polk? Just as well as I do. Bad boys and